It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Here's the punter Bradley Pinion on to get us started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. To throw at the outset, here's Hertz. And incomplete to open things up. And that certainly could be a sign of things to come because they're blitzing to start this ball game. And it works for them there as they force the incomplete pass. Second and 10. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. From the gun, it's Hurts. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And every time you step on a field, coaches are always going to talk about how important tackling is in a ball game. In this one, especially so. You can't allow these guys to break free and get extra yards after contact, but that's exactly what happens here. That can't continue as this game goes on. Here's Hurts to throw. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. well. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Hertz sets up to throw it. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that will bring up second down. Many teams, as soon as they spot man defense, if they haven't called a hitch, they'll get to it as fast as they can. They want to put the ball in the hands of one of their best playmakers and hope that he can break a tackle on the outside and go for big yardage. Hertz. And he's going to be touched down, but he's got the first down. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Throwing his hurts. It's caught. Smith. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Devontae Smith on the receiving end from Jalen Hurts. And the Eagles put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Personally for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off, not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense. You got a lot to handle in this one. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Oh, a good looking return set up here. So first and 10 now from the 30. Cousins to throw it. Man open, that's Ray Ray McLeod. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. Throwing. Cousins. Open man is Kyle Pitts, his tight end. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Atlanta. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. 
And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. That's good for a first down, his second catch of the opening drive. What an intelligent play as he found open grass and uncovered quickly. A nice clutch play to move the chains. The defense, they've got to do a much better job of accounting for these shorter routes. First carry of the game now for the Texas superstar, B. John Robinson. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. In motion goes the tight end. Here's Cousins. Short throw caught by Pitts. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Well, safe to say the passing game has found a rhythm. He's now four of four, but might need to be five of five to keep this drive going here as they face a third down. And maybe perhaps you show a running play, right? Maybe a little play action here to go ahead and let him throw the ball downfield. I wouldn't get away from him flinging it because four for four already, I think he's got a good chance of picking this one up here on third down. And he is going to have a Falcons first down, maybe by about a yard as they find a way to convert on third and inches. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing, right? And everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. To throw his Cousins. He's got his man, London, right side. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now, Falcon football. As they've got it with a third down coming up. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Cousins from the gun on third. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And able to get this down inside the 15 to either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. Josh Schwett rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. It's interesting, partner, that most defenses try and guard the 35-yard line actively because they think the way kickers are nowadays, about a 52-yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. But you get even deeper into territory, you get into the red zone, they're going to guard it even more, which means more pressure, more blitzing. And it's caught. Touchdown, Falcons. Jarnell Mooney. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Falcons are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. 
So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. They keep it with Barkley on first down. Oh, able to avoid him. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. That one, 28 yards on the ground. Thought they were going to have him down a lot earlier, but he was able to shed that tackle. Shows the value of the weight room, doesn't it? Shows the value of the attitude when you run the football. Don't go down easily. Break a few tackles. Gain some additional yardage. This will be caught by Brown. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Two yards to go, second down. They'll drop to throw. Open man has got it, the tight end. And Goddard going to have an Eagles first down as he'll get this down inside the 20. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. First down catch there by Goddard, and that's something he did on over 55% of his catches a season ago. He's a dependable target in the passing game. Sometimes he can be spectacular. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Over the middle complete. That's Smith. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Steps away. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Give the sack to David Onyemata, the product of Nigeria by way of Canada. Well, they had the right down and the definite distance to take a shot downfield, but it didn't work out the way that they had envisioned. No, that's a situation where if, if you take a sack close to the line of scrimmage, it's not that bad, but a loss like that, you can't, you can't take a sack there. Yeah, absolutely. The one thing you cannot do, they did. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Mike Hughes. And the Falcons are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Short throw caught by Pitts. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Now they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. And he is not going to go anywhere. They're going to get to him behind the line, and that is going to get us to the two-minute warning. Cousins. Over the middle, caught by London. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. And that play came together really well for them as he found open space, makes the catch, and gets down to the one-yard line. You know he's kicking himself right now. He thought he had a chance to get a touchdown and put that in his ledger. Instead, eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. A sack by Brandon Graham. He's been doing that since he entered the league in 2010. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. They're able to complete this one to McLeod. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. 
As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Now Cousins. Short throw caught by Pitts. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. They work now on second and nine. Now Cousins. Targeting Pitts on the out route, and he's got it complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. Ray Ray McLeod, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Falcons will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. to And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Second and five. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. He was trying to get that one out to his running back out of the backfield, but that one was read and timed perfectly, and they were able to break it up. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Back to throw here. And that is incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Back deep, Ray Ray McLeod. It's taken to the 26. It'll be a 41-yard punt. Give them five on the return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. Final play of the half, Cousins. This pass is caught by London. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. 
And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better, and I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Cousins got this complete to the tight end pits. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second down and five. To throw, Cousins. Over the middle, that's caught by McLeod. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Robinson will try to pick it up. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run, and that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. And this will be caught by Mooney. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now. And that throw, maybe the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming. And they pick up another first down. Cousins now. There's Moody with another catch. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll bring up second down. Well, that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Looked like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there, and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, third and four. They'll throw again, Cousins. And he's got his man in stride, complete. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Not the first and goal play they drew up. Multiple defenders in to bring him down to the ground. On any first and goal, the real estate to work with for the offense is really cut down, and the defense knows it. So they often bring heat and pressure, which they did on this play. Got him down for a loss. Not a big one, but any loss of yardage in this position is tough for an offense. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Third and goal for Cousins. 
That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. And not only will he not get in, he's going to lose yardage. They stuff him back at the four. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And that run there does nothing but juice up the guys who are moving the football. I mean, if you're an offensive lineman, people running it, actually the guy calling plays, you're almost jumping up and down in jubilation, aren't you? Yeah, now you've got options on second down. And big time options. You might want to think about play action and try and get something cheap right here over the top. And that's going to be caught downfield by Brown. Still going inside the 20. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown, 87 yards. And the Eagles are an extra point away from drawing level. Partner, you know what the real key is to stopping a good passing attack? You tell me. Being able to tackle as soon as a guy catches the football. Didn't work out there. No, because when you give up the big run after catch, the rack yardage, that puts your defense in a big-time stressful position. A lot of rack yardage and a touchdown there on the big play. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second and eight. From the gun, here's Cousins. That's out wide here for Robinson. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Here's Cousins. Under pressure, and down he goes. Buried for the sack by big Jalen Carter. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. Taken from just outside the 30. Call it an even 40-yard punt. 7-0 on the return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Here's second and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. Fires the quick slant. A.J. Brown's got it. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Hurts connecting there with Brown for the Eagles first. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. Hurts sets up to throw it. This will be caught once again by Brown. 
And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he is a get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short gain. From the 43, here's second down at a yard. Throwing his hurts. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. First target, first catch, and a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. To throw again on second down. Hurts. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Give the sack to Lorenzo Carter. Well, you could almost see his eyes light up defensively. I mean, as a linebacker, that's about as quick as you can get to a quarterback. So what did your third grade teacher teach you about straight lines, right? As soon as you have those, you take full advantage of them. He found a gap in the offensive line, got to the quarterback, and put him on the deck. I had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to break our fourth quarter tie. The kick by Elliott is good. And they take a 17-14 lead. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there, a big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. From the 34-yard line, here's second and two. Cousins to throw it. That's complete to the tight end, Werner. And he's going to be touched down, but he's got the first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Robinson up the middle. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Reed Blankenship delivering the hit. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Throwing his Cousins. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. My oh man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night.
The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They have the three-point lead. Defense did their job. Now, late game. Although it looks good, you know the coaches, they haven't counted this as a victory yet. I agree with you totally. Big applause for the defense, but no one is taking their headset off on the sidelines. They don't believe this game is over. The offense has to close this one out by taking care of the football. And they'll try to close it out now. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11, probably crashing the line here. He's going to get it again, just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now back to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they will take a knee here. They'll try and run some clock here with Barkley. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.